This, as you know, is the multitask dashboard for the Nokia N900, and you get to it by pressing the button on the top left corner, as so. This is okay when the multitasking button is always visible. It's easy to switch between the applications. However, if you're in another application where it's in full screen, you need to tap to make the toolbar visible first before the multitask button becomes visible again. The default multitasking is fine, it's just that when you squeeze it all down to one action, it makes multitasking that much more efficient. One of the inbuilt methods on the M900 is with the keyboard shortcut. Here you press control and backspace, and that instantly brings up multitask view. But this is still technically two button presses, and you'd still always have to open up the keyboard. A brilliant application that solves this is CamKeyD, or CamKeyD. As you can guess, it uses the camera button to go into multitask view. Just press the shutter button halfway, and it'll go directly into the multitask dashboard. If you haven't installed this yet on the N900, install it right now. It makes the multitasking that much more fantastic. The N900 is already a multitasking beast with the interface that it has and the sheer number of apps that it can multitask. But now with the ability to switch between apps with one click, it just makes the N900 undoubtedly the best multitasking phone on the planet. An even better application is called Shortcut D, which will allow you to have four programmable shortcuts on your N900. In this setup, pressing the shutter button all the way activates the phone application. This is undoubtedly the easiest way to turn on the phone app. Before you had to either rotate during menu or home screen view, or press one of the um, shortcut home screen call or phone book buttons, or press this um, power button at the top and press phone. All that is nowhere near as easy as just long pressing the camera button. You'll also notice it trying to open the camera, but since the lens cover is closed, you'll go directly to the phone application. This next shortcut is really cool. It uses the proximity sensor. In this setup, waving my finger over the proximity sensor, or you can just touch it, will activate the menu. We'll just press back using the traditional way. Go back to the home screen. Going to the menu traditionally, you press this twice. Now, all you have to do is just press the proximity sensor or wave your finger over the proximity sensor. When the proximity sensor senses anything up close, by default it'll vibrate, but you can turn this off in settings. Also, in the settings, you can change exactly what the shortcuts do. So go into settings up to the extras portion and you can configure your shortcuts as you like. With the camera button you've got two shortcuts, you've got halfway pressing and long pressing, and with the proximity sensor similarly you can briefly touch the proximity sensor or long press over the proximity sensor or just hover over the proximity sensor. Just to demonstrate we'll change camera button to menu and we'll change proximity sensor to multitask dashboard. Another cool button to configure is browser back button. So when you're browsing in full screen, just pressing this button immediately goes back a page. But for the sake of this demo, we'll use it to launch the phone application. Hit OK, and it will restart shortcut D. Now short pressing goes straight into menu and hovering over the proximity sensor will activate the multitask dashboard. Either way the shortcuts especially for multitasking is much more natural when you're actually holding the N900 because when you pick it up like this just a thumb press immediately goes into multitask view. With the proximity sensor, it also works in the dark. I confused it with a light sensor, thinking it just, when you block out the light, that's how it turns off the screen, but you just need to put anything close to it, hence proximity, and it'll activate whatever you set your shortcut to do. And another thing, when you're in the middle of a call, 
and the N900 is against your ear, proximity sensor will still turn off the screen. So it doesn't conflict with the shortcut that you set the proximity sensor to, and you will be multitasking with your ear. Just look at it. You can't multitask this quickly on any other phone except the N900 with this shortcut. Thanks for watching.